place for you. <laughs> um, I, I, I ain't gonna even lie to you. I, I didn't get the demo. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't get shit. Like, like, I saw you swallow something, but you definitely got magician hair, so you could have just, and yeah, you see, put it in your pocket, you know. I didn't see no food on the screen. I didn't see nothing. I didn't see a heart beating when it went down. I didn't see it. I saw the guys come with the computer. That's it. And they left. I didn't see left with the shit. I didn't see the Xbox. I didn't see it. And then I also want to know this. What are you going to do when the movie Osmosis Jones sue you? Okay, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Inner Space, I mean, Inner Space is a movie. Uh, it's a movie with Dennis Quaid and Martin Short, and Steven Spielberg presented it. Yeah, honestly, I was a little kid when I saw that. Yeah, you lived out your wildest dreams. That's what we're trying to do, but isn't that what Silicon Valley is all about? Yeah. Yeah! Uh, I have one concern, okay? I have, very, I have one concern, uh, and my concern is a lot of people recording anal sex. <laughs> yeah, so HIPAA compliance is kind of interesting, and I, I will say that it's in the stomach, but, uh, you know, sometimes we also test for the colonoscopy safe space, and let's just say that a couple of years ago, I had about a gallon of water up the rear, and my chairman's duct taping this antenna to my belly, and i am got wet hands trying to pop that thing and not geyser, and it's like, that's a Wednesday at endiotics. Anal <laughs> sex is like a transition to me. I was talking about anal sex, if I could continue real quick. <laughs> the tagline, we make you swallow as possible as well. Um, and I also appreciate your headshot. A lot of times people were presenting these things, their headshot is shit. Yours was really good, staring at your thing. But the headshots of doctors, that's not what motivation looks like. So you might want to rethink that. Thank you, thank you so much. And I, I should say that askrobots.com redirects to our website. <laughs> I really liked your, your pitch a lot. It like seems really promising. And the only thing that's like undermining my confidence in, in your presentation is, well, two things. One, the, the second floor basement, that you're pitching it in. Uh, but then two, like just the general Book of Mormon vibe that you're giving out. Otherwise, great. Thank, thank you so much. And we do need to say thank you to Alan Rogers of The Hub. He's our cybersecurity advisor. And we actually did our first thumb size demo down on the bar downstairs. And it helped us raise almost a quarter million dollars. So thank you, Alan. Please. Yeah. All right, look, I know a lot of people are going to be, I know a lot of people are poking fun at this company, but. Like, I want to let you all know, I was a very early adopter of this company. I've not seen any any, any problems that I've had in my life. So I just want to let you know it's all been perfectly good for me, okay? <laughs> Another thing I wanted to point out is that I like how you guys pulled out the video game controller because that totally works so well for Ocean Gate. So that's fantastic that we did that too soon. So what? Uh, yeah. Anyway, we're good. <laughs> Some of the audience previous slide. Oh, do, do I just talk? Is that what's all about? Okay, yeah. so uh, so here's the thing, uh, Tori. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the whole reason I chose to do this uh, pitch project, uh, whole comedy roast thing, is because uh, you gave me a two. Uh, on my hot seat, and it led to me having to do an epic sprint. So I was really looking forward to getting to roast you, and then I forgot that your product is fucking amazing, and it's really, really difficult to roast it. Uh, I'm not gonna honestly, dude. Your yours one is my favorite pitches that I've seen all my time in the Yeah. I'm really excited to see. Who said you <laughs> Let's try to get my great back up. Honestly, I think Silicon Valley is where you can mix the biological and the digital. 
What I'm really trying to add is the mechanical side. I think my favorite part of the pitch was was when, and, and this is speaking as an investor, was when you said, if we ever do this for real, we might be able to get a good <laughs> <laughs> it's that If we do it, it's like, fuck man, well, I'm investing real money, like we better, we better get there. I, and I appreciate your avoidance of any general solicitation issues. I, I know that that's pounded in from the Founder Institute. So. I think that my favorite part was when he did the live demonstration and then the camera lasted about as long as any other camera would. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing I had so you said from the beginning it was the size of a football? Uh, yeah, it was uh, How are y'all putting football the people, huh? <laughs> well, we, we called that, uh, we called that pool bot and it terrorized local swimming pools. <laughs> the second thing is, docs are, docs are supposed to use this? I hope that it's kind of a swap of an endoscope. Yeah. Have you ever played Xbox with a doctor? They suck. <laughs> the key is the, the younger doctors. Yeah. Viv from Mayo, he's 20 years younger than any other GI added. Oh, body. hell, I do not want a 20 year old in my body like, watch out, oh shit, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of the money, if this is for like medical stuff and this is remote controlled drones, uh, will this be covered by Obamacare? Honestly, if you're a payer, uh, you're paying for the whole trip through the hospital system. Damn. And what we're proposing to insurance is that, on average, four visits to the hospital that you pay for turns into one video call you pay for. Awesome. I, I want to scale back to when you got to the talking about the football size. Um, I, I still feel because we live in the San Francisco Bay Area, you should still offer that as an option because I feel ah. some people would like that. That's all. <laughs> You know, for some of our more non-compliant patients, we just go back a few generations. There you go. Uh, you have non-compliant patients? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, okay, serious question. Have you had, it must be a little bit bittersweet when you've got like a good prototype, right? Like it's working, because you're like, oh, I'm going to have to fish that out of doo-doo, right? Oh, man, so they get stained. They stink so bad. We, it's All like, right, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> for our patients, just flush the damn thing. If you work for me it's different um also i think so i know that sending people unsolicited dick pics is against the law i don't know where like sending showing a whole audience here intestines live lies but you might want to look into that so i found all these white dots that look like zits in my stomach a few years ago and i posted all the imagery on in like LinkedIn, I'm terrified. Like, did I give myself turbo cancer? And everyone's like, congratulations, Tori, you discovered the air bubble. <laughs> you checked a medical oh. issue on LinkedIn? <laughs> I mean, you know, when you, when you, you know, have 100 GIs per day you for a year. Man, you gotta fix that shit. <laughs> uh, one, one, one quick question uh, that I had is, is, uh, is, it, is the product itself disposable? Single-use disposable, dirt cheap. Okay, and then what, do you, what are we doing about the battery? So, the doctor's gonna jam that tube in your body, look around for about 15 minutes. So the battery needs to last about 15 minutes. That means it's a very tiny coin cell, and we make sure that thing doesn't explode or else you, you die. Wait, hold on! Uh, yeah, so see, this, this leads to my uh, skepticism as a black person. <laughs> where they're putting big electronic devices in my body. Uh, and it just brings vestiges of Tuskegee to my brain. Actually, that's that's a that's a terrible, important reality to discuss here. Like, no, right? no, no, it's done, not tonight. <laughs> well, don't skip over this now. We want to know how many of them have exploded. So so far, none. And uh, what we do is we short circuit the batteries, hold them in our hands, and then ask if we would put that in our own mother. Right. And by none, do you mean not? non-interns. So you can't swallow one of these at NDRX unless you have a serious equity stake, you're a founder of the company, because it would be a federal crime for someone other than that to, to have it in their body. Oh, okay, right so now. he's serious. I can't tell sometimes. <laughs> and do we have an audience question? All right, can we pass the mic over? Yeah. Super quick, I just want to see the uh, projection, 10 year projections like. Hmm. She's going to take a picture. <laughs> if they get it serious about it. No, then you have another Possibly right here. So uh, this is on the business side, which is just saying if we can do serious data gathering and data ana analytics, 
we think there's some value here, you know, but uh, heading backwards, you know, it's like, this is the dream. Let's create a world where we could do brain surgery with this. And we just want to show the world of founders and people in, you know, like universities, you know, come knock us out of the park, make the molecular sized version of this. We'll take care of FDA in the meantime. For the record, this guy just quickly exited away from a slide with a lot of money on it saying, ah, oh, data gathering, oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh, look, oh, beautiful pictures of our product that I can see here. So, so you're saying to us uh, that you created a device to gather information about what that doo-doo do. It's, it's a, kind of the pre do do C. Okay. You know, if you can get that explosion working the way that you want it, so that it's not until after it's out of the body, you can get some pretty great pranks going. So I actually got rejected by InQtel, which is the CIA's VC arm, when they said, what else could you do for it with it? And I was like, heal people. <laughs> you know, I, I like that during the pitch you, you called out the environment and then after the pitch in response to, to, to a question about the batteries you were sort of like, fuck the ocean. So, no, but, thank you for that. We just did a several hour tour of Hayward Wastewater Plant, which I recommend to everyone. It's amazing what they do there. This, this device ends up in a landfill after they catch it in a filter and then we kind of compare the lesser evil. We hope that this can pass that scrutiny. I'm not a tech guy. Is this SAS? <laughs> that was good. That was yeah. good. The, the answer would be that it's kind of like ASRAS, which would be ASRobots Robots as a service. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like digital health going a little deep. More importantly, can I use Apple Pay with this? I want to be able to grind up against a 7 Eleven counter and just say paying for shit. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, actually, we've already billed you for it. Thank you. For yes. <laughs> if I swallow one of these, will I always be flagged at TSA? or? So it really depends on the timing. I'm not sure if the millimeter wave would catch it, but they wouldn't tell you if it wouldn't. So if you want to actually maybe become an investor, we could talk about getting you on the cap table. Go do some tests. Yeah. <laughs> right, Sounds good. Second audience question. Can can speak in the camera doesn't work. Uh, Bert Rank, I came from semiconductors and there's very 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 few suppliers in the medical field and they're scrutinized and now we have the supply chain which is broken. How do you build the billion devices in those? The key is to use commodity electronics. So our our motors that drive the pump jets, those are cell phone vibrator motors, about forty cents each cameras off an old iPhone. We're really using this SOC, the system on chip under there. Next step, put some right optics on. But the key is inside our capsule, we can use off the shelf electronics, but the capsule has to be seriously tough. So if it's a lot of off the shelf stuff, what, what's your hope actually for prevent somebody else from having Perkins Coie uh, does all of our IP corporate trademarking. Uh, our, our IP lawyer, uh, Jordan Becker, or Jim Brenner, our corporate attorney, are both multi-time investors now in the company. We've got a pretty awesome IP moat for you know robots that swim under their own power. Uh, we have IP filed in all international zones, but that's nothing. It's all about execution, and we really want to be the first company to bring a real product like this to market. We have time for one more audience question. Can you come to the front and then could someone pass on the microphone and then we'll end shortly thereafter. Yeah, it's, it's one of the older guys here. I have to ask the question is, is there a backdoor option? <laughs> you know, is it only one way? Yeah, you, you heard me. The question is, you know, can we do a colonoscopy? Yeah, if anyone's familiar with a colonic, maybe don't raise your hand, but basically, if we squirt out all the junk with uh, some clear water, we can do that a few times, create a clear aqueous environment in the large intestine, and actually, I've done three of those so far, but the idea is a no-prep walk-in colonoscopy, if that works. Clear douching. It's sort of like, what do you call douching but up the ace? Uh, it's douching. I mean, people do it a lot. Are you your doo-doo, bro? Yeah. 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 We call it C+. Oh, there you go. All right, one more okay. question. Oh. All right, I just, I just, this doesn't count. It's not a question. Ah. I just have an idea for you. Uh, I think one of these pitches that you do, I think if, you're, if you don't care about whether you get investment from whoever, set it up so that it's not actually a video of, of inside you, 
and then like have like a bunch of like action figures inside your body yeah. that I swim past. Yeah. So so we were at A16Z Tech Week and we did a surprise swallow because you know it's fun. And I was, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was I was like gobble, I was everybody gobbling, likes that. I was gobbling little like rubber farm animals in the audience of this guy's looking at me like do you have pika? And I was like no I'm a presenter. Yeah, you are. Wait. <laughs> All right. So that raises a few questions. Uh, you kind of just slipped by. You were gobbling down plat. What? Well, you want to see cool stuff, right? <sighs> Quick question. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> help me. Help me. Uh, what? What do you plan on coating this with to make it slide down easy? You know, I think like maybe mint flavor. I I, I don't know. Like I'm not into the cherry flake fake one. That's a little weird. Yeah, don't do grape, okay? Just wrap it in a piece of cheese. That usually works. Let's give Tori a hand. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.